Hey, how you doing? Justin here. It's been a very long day. I'm really looking forward to uh, zoning out and doing my guitar practice today. So quite a new few new things uh, going on. The first one is the finger stretching exercise, which uh, is going to be quite challenging, I think, for left-handed, but we'll soon find out. Here we go. Let's just start my timer off. So I'm going to do it at the fifth fret. Oh, my Lord. Now I know how it feels. I can feel it though. Yeah. There are all sorts of things going on here. Picking the right string, finger placement. stretch part it's not going too bad better than I expected anyway small victories and all that could definitely do with a thicker pick though when I do this one next time the thin pick is great for strumming but a bit rubbish for picking up notes one at a time. No. This is actually going a lot better than I thought it would. But there we go, there's, that's done. So, uh, chord perfect D minor. Just got a minute on this, so, uh, let's see, I'm probably gonna use my little finger. It's always getting that. Just try using my third finger just to see. Kind of easier with my third finger, but I think I want to get used to my little finger touching the strings. It is a little easier later on sometimes, I think. Just checking all my cameras are working. So that's, that's going okay. If I use my little finger there. there. Little finger's not liking it though. That's, um, yeah, that's not happening. Okay, uh, chord perfect any. So this time it's just picking any chords that you struggle with. I'm kind of feeling all right with most of them, to be honest. E. A. Bad D, not bad E minor, A minor, and D minor. You know, I'll probably just keep working on the D minor to be honest. quite often give two minutes on the one chord set a bit. This depends on you. What things you're finding easy and what things you're finding hard. We all find different things easy and hard. Okay. That's my second minute of that. Okay. Uh, the one minute changes, um, I'm doing D minor to A minor, but you could choose other ones depending on songs that you want to learn and all that sort of stuff. D minor to A minor is one that's likely to come up, I think, in songs I want to play, so 
I'm going to pick that one first. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, Oh, come on. 21, 22. Okay, 22 is not bad, considering um, I've just finished, but I forgot to enter the um, amount in there. I'll have to do it later. So I've chosen as my second one minute changes A minor to D, because that's one I found a bit difficult before. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 25. Okay, it's time for the strumming practice. I'm going to be just working on my down, down, up, up, down pattern with the metronome. I've got the metronome set at 100. Now, you might find that you want to be doing it slower or faster than that. It just depends on uh, how you're feeling. Um, so I'm going to do that at 100. I've got two minutes of that. Here we go. getting it right <laughs> he says as he gets it wrong shouldn't be talking trying to get it locked into the metronome but I'm also trying to make it feel good and relaxed Definitely a thin pick helps with this stuff. Compared to how I felt last week done with a thicker pick. If you can, distracting yourself a little bit can be a really good plan. There we go. Two minutes of that. Okay. Uh, next thing on my list is Sunshine of Your Love, the riff. Got a feeling this one's going to be quite tricky. Um, it's, I did have a thicker pick just here on my counter somewhere, but I don't know where it's gone. 
I've got a thicker pick in my pocket. I don't even have a thicker pick in my pocket. No, I'll do it with a thin pick. I'll use a thicker pick tomorrow. But um, probably a thicker pick is going to help this quite a lot. Um, just it's hard to pick out individual notes and it's going to be hard enough as it is. Anyway, so two minutes of attempting to play Sunshine of Your Love. Here we go. So... as I thought. Actually, that went loads better than I thought it was going to go. Okay, so it's song time now. Uh, I got my app out. Uh, I'm going to have a go first of all at the song uh, "Chocolate Jesus" by uh, Tom Waits. Just I'm a massive Tom Waits fan, anyway, so I may as well have a, a crack on this one. It's not got too many chord changes in it, so it shouldn't be too stressful uh, to get this one going. So uh, let's here we go. Two, three, four.
so jumping to the D minor when I'm not used to it is really difficult. Uh, and I forgot to set my timer going for my 10 minutes as well. That wasn't very helpful. Uh, but that was a bit of a tricky one. That was that was hard. Okay, uh, A Girl Like You is a really good one, but it's a, probably a bit hard for this first day because the chord changes are quite quick. So I'm going to have a go instead at uh, All of Your Love, which is a John Mayall kind of blues. 12 bar blues, minor blues. Thumb muscles really hurting today, this. Anyway, just get used to it. hard one. It's hard. I'm finding it really difficult today. I have had a few days off practice, um, which, you know, I guess that's part of the journey for all of us when we're learning an instrument. There's times when you can do more and times that you can do less. Okay, so I'm going to have a go at a girl like you just because I want to see what happens. Uh, there's fast chord changes, but, you know, pushing myself and I'm not afraid to make a few fumbles and, you know, let things figure themselves out. So uh, I'm just going to go for it. Uh, here we go. Yeah, yeah.
<laughs> oh, come on! This is too fast. Zen place if I want to deal with it. That was toasty. That's almost certainly my 10 minutes up there. Now, um, that's a hard tune. Again, um, if any of you guys are, you know, following along this and, and trying to figure out where you where you sit with all of this, remember that for me, that some of the rhythmic things that I know most students struggle with uh, is that it's, you know, fairly simple for me, but most people are going to find it hard to get that down, down, up, up, down, going straight away. Uh, if you have got that going, that's great. Um, for me, it's about the chord changes, you know, that one I'm, I'm really pushing myself, like I can't make those chord changes, but I'm aware of the, the positive impact of pushing myself in certain ways. So I don't want it to become too sloppy. I think I probably could have done with doing a bit more work on the D minor to A minor for both of my one minute changes, because the other changes are kind of okay, and that's definitely the weakest one. So probably tomorrow I'm going to do two sets of changes just on that one chord. Uh, definitely need to cut my nails. I really notice I, I haven't cut my nails for a... Uh, I don't know, a week and a half or two weeks, and it's just long enough that I can feel them digging in. Um, using the thin pick's great for the strumming, for the songs, but definitely for doing the riff stuff, I want to get a thicker pick for tomorrow. Um, but otherwise, it was a not a bad practice session. I quite enjoyed it, actually, after having a pretty stressful day. Loads of stuff kind of going wrong and, you know, well, not going wrong, but just like challenging stuff. It was nice to just sit down and go, you know, I'm not doing anything except focusing on my guitar for half an hour or 20 minutes or whatever. So um, hopefully... Uh, you get a similar vibe when you're practicing and I'll see you for uh, practice tomorrow. Bye-bye.